There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. After some morning cloud cover here and an isolated shower or two that shifted off to the south with a frontal boundary that's moved in and we've been back to mostly clear skies for the afternoon and that's allowed temperatures to warm up into the mid to upper 70s to near 80 in a few spots and we're only going to be warmer for here from here on out for the next seven days. Here's your future cast breakdown. A light northerly wind tonight reinforcing drier air. Dew points are into the 40s so we're going to drop after sunset out of the 60s and 70s into the 50s and then most of us getting down between the mid 40s to the lower 50s overnight. I think Futurecast is a little too zealous with getting temperatures deep into the 40s over southern middle Tennessee, but only add about two or three degrees to this for most of us, mid to upper 40s to lower 50s across the area by daybreak with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Clouds do increase a bit as we head into our Thursday, but still sunshine at times, a few isolated showers or a rumble of thunder by late into the afternoon and into the evening. No widespread heavy rain or anything like that here, but a few passing thunder showers are definitely possible, and that does go ahead and continue into tomorrow night and Friday morning at least as the warm front lifts back northward. And then any rainfall from Friday afternoon into Saturday is a very, very spotty at most. Most of us during that period staying dry. I do think everybody's dry on Sunday with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies with high pressure overhead. Frontal system that brings a severe weather outbreak to the plains on Saturday pushes east into the Mississippi Valley Sunday. Thunderstorms still off to our west Sunday and Sunday night. But as that weakens and moves eastward, it does bring shower and thunderstorm chances to the local area here by Monday. Upper 70s to near 80 for Thursday. Everybody into the 80s from Friday through the weekend into the first half of next week. Also notice the overnight lows coming up over the weekend into the mid 60s as human air moves northward from the Gulf of Mexico. Your forecast for tonight shaping up like this, dropping quickly with mostly clear skies and dry air out of the 70s into the 60s this evening, 50s during the late evening and overnight, and then most of us getting down to the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s by daybreak. It will be a range, you know how it is here during the overnight hours. In the early morning hours, it's not a one number place. Mostly clear skies. Clouds increase a bit on Thursday, but still some sunshine. Late day isolated thunder showers are possible. Those continue in a Thursday night and Friday morning. And then any activity from Friday afternoon, Friday night into Saturday, only about a 10% chance of that. No big rain chances here for the next several days. Dry for our Sunday for everybody, and then a better chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms with that frontal system on Monday. No big cool down as it moves in, though. Isolated thunder showers possible on into the middle of next week. Daytime highs for the next seven days, upper 70s to low to maybe middle 80s across the area. There's literally a seven day forecast. I'll be back at nine o'clock for a final check of your local weather.